Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1704, Frenchman Elias New opens a school for black people in New York City. Also in 1704, Indians attack Deerfield, Massachusetts, killing 40 and kidnapping 100 people. In 1708, a slave revolt in Newton, Long Island, New York, results in 11 deaths. In 1749, Henry Fielding's novel, Tom Jones, is published. In 1759, Pope Clement XIII allows the Bible to be translated into various languages for the first time. In 1784, John Wesley charters the Methodist Church. In 1787, what we now know as the University of Pittsburgh is chartered. In 1820, a Russian expedition discovers the Antarctic continent. In 1827, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad is incorporated. It becomes the first railroad in the U.S. offering transportation of people and freight. In 1832, Charles Darwin arrives in Salvador, Brazil. In 1844, a 12-inch gun aboard the USS Princeton explodes, killing the U.S. Secretary of State, the U.S. Secretary of the Navy, and other high-ranking U.S. federal officials. In 1849, steamboat service from the West Coast to the East Coast of the United States began today. But I hope you weren't in a hurry. From New York Harbor to San Francisco Bay took four months and 22 days. Also in 1849, the first boatload of Gold Rush prospectors arrives in San Francisco from the East Coast. I wonder if they took the new steamboat service. In 1850, the University of Utah opens in Salt Lake City, Utah. In 1851, Northwestern University becomes the first chartered university in Illinois. In 1855, a locomotive on the Panama Canal Railway runs from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean for the first time ever. In 1859, the Arkansas legislature requires that free blacks choose exile or slavery. In 1871, the Second Enforcement Act gives the federal government control of congressional elections in the United States. In 1878, the Yale Daily News becomes the first daily student newspaper in the United States. In 1882, the first U.S. college co-op store opens. It's at Harvard University. In 1883, the first vaudeville theater opens in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1885, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company now known simply as AT&T, is incorporated in New York State. In 1893, the USS Indiana, the first contemporary battleship in the United States Navy, is launched. In 1902, the Carnegie Institution for Science is founded in Washington, D.C. with a $10 million gift from philanthropist Andrew Carnegie. In 1903, Barney Dreyfus and James Potter buy the Philadelphia Phillies for $170,000 or about $5.5 million today. A steal of a deal. In 1906, American gangster Bugsy Siegel was born in Brooklyn, New York. In 1909, the first National Woman's Day is observed in the United States. In 1915, the U.S. Congress creates the United States Coast Guard as a branch of the United States Armed Forces. Also in 1915, during World War I today, the French tried to drive the Germans back into the Champagne region of France, but only pushed them back a few hundred yards. But it's at the cost of 50,000 lives. In 1917, city-owned streetcars take to the streets of San Francisco, California. Also in 1917, the Associated Press claims that Mexico and Japan will ally with Germany if the U.S. enters World War I. In 1922, Egypt declares independence from the United Kingdom. In 1933, Frances Perkins is appointed Secretary of Labor, becoming the first female to serve in the U.S. Cabinet. Also in 1933, the Reichstag Fire Decree is signed, eliminating many civil liberties in Germany. In 1939, Webster's New International Dictionary, the second edition, accidentally prints the word Dord, D-O-R-D. It is not a word. In 1940, basketball is televised for the first time with Fordham University playing the University of Pittsburgh in Madison Square Garden. Also in 1940, Richard Wright's Native Son is published. In 1943, George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess opens on Broadway. In 1947, the February 28 massacre occurs today in Taiwan when China violently puts down an anti-government uprising 
causing the loss of 18,000 to 28,000 lives. In 1948, American actress, singer, and jerk lover Bernadette Peters is born. I hope you got the jerk lover reference. In 1954, the first NTSC standard color television sets go on sale to the general public. In 1956, Elvis Presley makes his first U.S. television appearance. Also in 1956, American engineer Wright Forrester is issued a patent for computer core memory. In 1957, the 14th Golden Globes are presented. The King and I, Kirk Douglas, and Ingrid Bergman win. In 1958, the last episode of the British radio comedy The Goon Show is broadcast. Also in 1958, the Lego company patents the design of its Lego bricks, which are still compatible with Lego bricks produced today. In 1958 as well, the worst school bus accident in U.S. history occurs when a school bus in Kentucky hits a truck and plunges down an embankment into the flooding La Vesa Fork River, killing the driver and 26 children. In 1960, the home team, United States, wins its first Olympic ice hockey gold medal at Squaw Valley, California, with a 9-4 win over Czechoslovakia. In 1961, although he is most closely associated with President Richard Nixon, President Kennedy names Henry Kissinger a U.S. Special Advisor today. In 1966, the Cavern Club in Liverpool closes. This is where the Beatles played so often prior to their U.S. invasion. In 1967, a West German court rules that imposter Anna Anderson failed to prove that she was the missing Russian Duchess Anastasia Romanoff, thereby ending a legal case that lasted nearly 30 years. In 1970, bicycles are first permitted to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. In 1975, a tube train crash at Moorgate Station in London, England kills 43 people. In 1976, at the 18th Grammy Awards, the Captain and Tennille's Love Will Keep Us Together is awarded Record of the Year, and Natalie Cole becomes the first African American to win Best New Artist. In 1977, the first killer whale born in captivity occurs today. In 1982, AT&T loses a record $7 billion for the fiscal year ending today. In 1983, the final episode of the hugely popular TV series MASH aired. It was watched by 106 million people. Also in 1983, U2 released War, their third studio album, which contains the protest song, Sunday Bloody Sunday. It becomes their first number one album. In 1984, at the 26th Grammy Awards, Michael Jackson wins eight Grammys. In 1986, the Swedish Prime Minister is assassinated, with over 130 people confessing to the crime but it has still never been solved. In 1989, 23-year-old Gretchen Paul Hemus from Texas is crowned the 38th Miss USA. In 1991, the first Gulf War ends after six months and over 100,000 civilian casualties. Also in 1991, Don Mattingly is named the 10th New York Yankee captain. In 1993, the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms raid the Branch Davidian Church in Waco, Texas, to arrest the group's leader, David Koresh. Four ATF agents and five Branch Davidians die in the initial raid, which begins a 51-day standoff. Also in 1993, Jerry Seinfeld wins the seventh American Comedy Award. In 1994, the Brady Law, which imposes a waiting period to buy a handgun in the U.S., goes into effect. In 1996, at the 38th Grammy Awards, Jagged Little Pill from Alanis Morissette wins. In 1997, earthquakes in northern Iran, Armenia, and Azerbaijan kill over 4,100 people in total. Also in 1997, FBI agent Earl Pitts pleads guilty to selling secrets to Russia. And in 1997 as well, purchasers of cigarettes in the U.S. must prove they are over 18 years old starting today. In 1998, today is the first flight of the RQ-4 Global Hawk the first unmanned aerial vehicle that can file its own flight plans and fly in U.S. civilian airspace. In 2004, at the fourth Golden Raspberry Awards, Geely wins. My family just calls it Giggly. In 2005, a suicide bombing at a police recruiting center in Iraq kills 127 people. Also in 2005, Stereophonics released their single, Dakota, 
which later becomes their first number one single. In 2007, singer-songwriter Billy Thorpe dies today. Now he is with the Children of the Sun, I guess. In 2009, the amazing American radio host Paul Harvey passes away today. In 2012, Occupy London protesters are evicted from St. Paul's Cathedral. Also in 2012, scientists discover evidence of the largest prehistoric penguin, which stood nearly five feet tall. In 2013, Joseph Ratzinger, also known as Pope Benedict XVI, resigns. He was the first leader of the Catholic Church to resign since 1415. Also in 2013, the brains of two rats are successfully connected so that they share information. In 2016, at the 36th Razzie Awards, Fifty Shades of Grey wins Worst Film, Worst Actor, and Worst Actress. Also in 2016, at the 88th Academy Awards, Best Picture goes to Spotlight, while Best Actor and Actress go to Leonardo DiCaprio and Brie Larson. In 2018, 700 illegal churches are closed in Rwanda for being too noisy and because they were built without building permits. In 2019, a Los Caravaggio painting from 1607 is rediscovered in a French attic and will be auctioned. It is expected to be worth $171 million. Also in 2019, YouTube announces it will discontinue all comments on videos featuring children because of pedophiles leaving inappropriate comments. And lastly, in 2021, at the 78th Golden Globes, Best Film goes to Nomadland, and Chadwick Boseman posthumously wins Best Actor for Black Panther. That was February 28th, the end of February. Now we get into March. Make sure that you have totally caught up on all my February videos, though. Don't start March until you do. 